these students have chosen to come to school during their half-term break, believing that a high-impact last-minute revision session could make the difference between a pass and a fail at GCSE. It's going to help me get a better grade to go to college so I can get a better job in my life if I didn't come and didn't get my C grade. I think it will help me because it will help me in the long run. If I go now, instead of doing it and not passing, it won't be beneficial to me in the future. Today's activities are all based upon one thing, okay? Helping you to pass at sea level or above for maths. To achieve this, Priory Community School in Western Supermare has asked its most charismatic teachers to host the high impact sessions. That's why a science teacher runs a maths revision club. In this scenario, I've gone for P equals a blue smiley face. The core understanding of maths I'm fine with. What, what's important is being able to relate that understanding to, to the kids. But it could be a sun, it could be a star, it could be two Amadeuses. What a nightmare. You come in with a, a different teaching style, different methods, and you know, sort of a, a good engagement with, this, with the students as well is, is very important. The revision days are highly structured and at Priory usually involve two separate teachers with two groups of around 15 students each. If at any point you don't understand what's going on, you've got a problem with something on the board, you let me know, okay? It's more relaxed and you can do like, if you in like struggling you can always ask but it's much harder in lessons because there's other people. The first task involves going over areas of maths that these students find particularly challenging. We're going to make sure that we've got the basics, the very very basics, okay? Simple, on the board. Who can tell me what that term on the board 2x means? One of the techniques I use is obviously because I'm not a math teacher, I play dumb, I get them to explain it to me. Now I tell you what, you be the teacher, tell me something that you know already about factorising, simplifying or brackets. You tell me, I'm not a maths teacher. Factorising is taking it out of the brackets and then the other one is putting it into the brackets. Brilliant. For most of the session I'm sitting back and they're up on the board explaining step by step. 6x plus 1 how to do a particular question. Brilliant. After a session on good exam technique, the students do a mock paper followed by instant feedback. Every paper has its own subtleties. Um, it's getting them to look for the marks, understand what the question is asking for, to make sure that they spend the appropriate amount of time on a question. Uh, simple things like reading over the question paper at the end, and obviously you know, the only guarantee that we can give them is if, if they don't put an answer down, they're not going to get any marks. Okay. Those ones are right, those ones are wrong. Right, so we photocopy just one question on one side of paper. As soon as the student has done the question, they're able to pass it forward to me so I'm not interrupting with the work that they're doing. Personally, what I try to do is, if someone says, oh, I got that wrong, my, my response in, in, these, in this particular environment is brilliant. Brilliant. I'm glad you got it wrong because more than likely someone else has got it wrong. So it's taken that element of failure away and seen it as, a, as an avenue for improvement. So I want you to reflect it in the line X minus one. So first, I'm a lot more confident now I've done this. Um, I was, I'd probably just be sat at home doing nothing. So coming in gives you a chance just to give an extra bit of revision just before you go to the exam. It's it's. A privilege really to see these students taking a real ownership of their of their results and to see them taking a real mature attitude to their development by coming in in days like these is, you know, I think it's very impressive of them.